Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13 box Hail Mary football mixer. A pick your team mixer. It's not, not, too com not too often we do a pick your team mixer. And if you bought at least two teams, you got a chance at 20, 25? No, $250 of break credit. Top five winning $50 of break credit each if you bought at least two. There's the mixer right there. A lot of good stuff in here, ladies and gentlemen. No vet common ship in this. I don't think it says that, but I think you would know by now that no veteran common ship. No vet common ship in this. Big thing. Oh, no. I didn't even do the list. Oh, dear. Big thanks to all of those folks right there for getting into the action. I was just too eager to start this break. All right. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting to the action print. We appreciate it. And there's all the boxes right there. You can see the rest of the boxes on the, uh, the top camera up there. So once again, here's the, the official printout right here. Thanks for spending a bit of your Wednesday night with us, folks. We appreciate that, as always. There is late night tonight, so take advantage of that. Um, yeah, let's start with 2018 Elite Football. So just kind of randomly grab boxes here. I think we've got... What are we closing? Maybe we'll close out with that mosaic box. Sean, can you grab me a monster box, please? Thank you. Just forgetting all sorts of supplies here. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate that. It was a long time coming for the Dodgers. They, they did it. All right, it's not just an Ikea shell. This break brought to you by Ikea, folks. We are, we are making a Calyx shelving unit. So each, each, I think there's only the outside and then each like shelf has to be played. The wooden pegs have to go and there's all sorts of things that have to happen there. The old, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take these and then uh, yeah, go ahead and take those. Those can go. The old calyx. It's a, I think I think breaks might live in there. It's organizing things for for the shipping team. I think I've watched enough MLB tonight programming. What about some? Uh, yeah, let's let's go. This is an NFL break. Let's go NFL total access, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone have any uh, a specific NFL matchup they're looking forward to this weekend? Hmm. Sean's actually interested in the Browns Raiders matchup. Raiders traveling east to uh, to Cleveland. Now they usually don't do well traveling there, but traditionally but last last handful of games they actually looked uh pretty good on the road so maybe that trend is turning itself around thanks to guys like this guy Derek Carr Mr. East Fountain to 699 and there's Cam Newton to 299 spellbound we'll have all those sleeved and top loaded by our shipping team just kind of a long break so just in the interest of time we're going to fly through this. Pen Pals, Jalen Samuels. There you go. On-card autograph for John Skiner and the Steelers. Allen's looking forward to tomorrow night's matchup. That would be Fal Falcons at Panthers? Where's my... Yeah. yeah, Falcons at Panthers. Who do you have, Allen? And everybody? 
Sean Jaspi is going Panthers in this matchup. That's what Allen's going with. Keep pounding, he says. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Sean Jaspi says that, uh, I don't know if you heard him in the background, but he was saying that Panthers played pretty close with, uh, with the Saints last week. They did. I think they were maybe within a touchdown? Within three points, even. With Drew Brees right there. There's primary colors, Joey Bosa. So by, by, by that extension, he's saying, well, the Saints are better than the Falcons. So he thinks that the uh, Panthers should take care of business against... There you go. There's Matt Ryan and the Falcons. There's Tyrod Taylor in his Browns gear to 299. Well, what Sean doesn't know is that in the last 10 games versus Carolina, the Falcons have been 8-2 and two straight up and against the spread. It's the last 10 games. So even with that coach that got fired, they still were able to go eight and two against the Panthers in their last ten games. SV Dual Rooks ship? Of course. This place would riot if we didn't ship any rookies. Can you imagine? <laughs> we're gonna keep all the Joe Burrows. We'll keep the Tua's. I don't know any place where the rookies don't ship. In fact, I would stay clear of any place that says no rookies ship. We'll keep all the Tua's, the Joe Burrows, the Justin Herberts, and all you'll get is vet commons like Jets Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> no, it's all good, SV. Man, but if there's any website, any breaking site you go to, and if it ever says no rookies ship, you stay clear of that scammer. The redemption is DJ Chark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. For Jacksonville, not Jacksonville, North Carolina, folks, but Jacksonville, Florida. And a free top loader for Paul Harris and the Jags. All right, what, do we, what else do we got here? Should we maybe get, let's get some of this out of the way. Let's go into current draft class 2020. Thanks, Chris Murphy. Now it's stuck in everybody's head. Sorry. If you have young ones listening and they're they're singing it, and we're like, we just got them to forget that song. Screw you, Joe. Apologize. Oh, that's right, Rex. There are no other breaking sites. SV. My bad. It's just us. We invented this. We're the only ones to do this. I love, love Charlie Murphy, loving that song, Chris Murphy. It's a pretty catchy tune. It's a pretty catchy tune. The kids, the kids jingle, the kids song market, I think, is, uh, is pretty lucrative. If I could come up with an equally catchy song, you know, and mass produce it and sell it and have a, have a, Cute, some cute animation going with it. Bye bye group breaking job. Hello kid song job. What are the what are the hallmarks of a good of a good kid song, ladies and gentlemen? You got to have an animal in it, right? Well, the tune, obviously. And it's got a point, you gotta point out things. There's babies, there's mommy sharks and daddy sharks. And 
other other sharks, DJ sharks. Hmm. Well, we'll have to workshop this. All right, here's 2020 Donruss. We'll fly through these. Obviously, vet commons don't ship, but vet inserts like this will ship. And obviously, rated rookie cards will ship and all that. I'm not sure, Daniel. We might get some soccer breaks at some point. I know we have personal boxes on Instagram Live, at Chaspie's Breaks on Instagram. But none for group breaks at the moment. Justin Jefferson, he's been playing some good football. Isaiah Simmons, canvas, all that will ship. There's, oh, am I sleeving up Ben DiNucci right here? He's playing this week, right? He's QB1. Rated rookie Ben DiNucci, Dallas Cowboys. What if he goes off, James? James Majority with the Dallas Cowboys. Mm. Then you'll be glad that I sleeved and top-loaded him right away. Uh oh, Rex with an idea that could be dangerous. What if you were there? You were there was a YouTube podcast type thing called Jaspie's Breaking News, where someone talks about upcoming Jaspie's news breaks that went or will be coming up. Oh, Rex, you and I are on the same page. I was just thinking about that, driving around the other day. I was like, what if on like Tuesdays that I record the intro, but the intro will include things that are coming up in the week. What new releases are coming up, what new products that are coming up, and some other highlights and stuff like that. Wait, what? A ticker? We could have a ticker, yeah. Like a sports ticker? Hmm, could have a ticker. All right, there's no no Joe Burrows in here or Tua's, Tago Violas, Justin Herberts. Where are you guys? This is 2020, right? Yeah. More Ben DiNucci, though. Plenty of Ben DiNucci. There should be a breaking channel that talks about hits, even from competitors, and what's upcoming. You could be the Rupert Murdoch of breaking. You can control the news and the narrative. Yeah, I, I could, I guess. I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work that I'm not into. To be a media mogul. Bob Greasy. There's Isaiah Coulter, 61 out of 99. Donner's optic parallel inside here. That's Joey Bosa. I'm just looking at the colors of teams right now. Oh, there's Justin Herbert. I was like, we can't go through an entire box without seeing some of the top quarterbacks, right? The top rookie quarterbacks, it is. Justin Herbert, rated rookie. Steven Villa, or Villa, depending on how he, how he goes with that. No, check that. I'm sorry. Corey. Names are right next to you. Corey has the Chargers. 
Steven has my Raiders. There's the Justin Herbert, Corey. How is that? Uh, my it's just that it's Rex, you want technology that would send someone a text when a break hit single digits, then when it's sold out. I don't know. Aren't you guys getting enough texts already? I wish there was a way to text when like a break is about to happen though. I feel like that's not a frequently asked question, but sometimes people want to see that. All right, there's Tom Brady right there. All right, let's get this kind of heavy box out of the way too. This is 20... 17, there it is, 2017. Elite collegiate football. I actually don't think there's a checklist for this. Or is there a checklist for this? I should have, should have noted this before I started this break. Group break, checklist.com, do 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 do. Right. Well, that's why we have the schedule. So they know when that break's gonna happen. Oh, there is 2017, but that's not, that's elite football, not collegiate. Is there no groupbreakchecklist.com checklist for this? No, maybe not. Are you serious? That's draft picks. That's Panini Collegiate. That's different. No, I don't think there's a checklist for this. I'm pretty sure there isn't. We'll have to look these up. If there's no checklist, then it'll, then, um, it'll go to the team that they are currently on, going by our no checklist rules. And as detailed in our frequently asked questions section. And if there is a checklist, it'll obviously go to the team. It's there. <laughs> People don't read. They only respond to pings and vibrations. Well, they'll have to around here to maximize their Jaspi experience. We look for a higher caliber of customer recs. The clientele that can read. Jaspies, we don't want to dumb things down. We want to smart things up. Right? That's what I say all the time, right, Sean? <laughs> the skeptical. I don't know. No? Don't dumb down, smarten up. That's that's what we all say, right? Don't dumb down, smarten up. Oh, right. We're looking for uh, Patrick Mahomes, basically, is what we're looking for here. And we've got Mitch Leidner. I don't remember this guy. We'll, we'll look this up later. That's going to go to somebody. Patrick, where are you? Patrick Mahomes. Derek Henry, twenty 
16. There's Jake Butt. He's a tight end. And we've got Matt Milano. Milano, that's the name of my favorite Pepperidge Farm cookie. Deshaun Watson, rookie card in his Clemson gear. Going to Allen and the Houston Texans. Last spot mojo. It's crazy how the hobby has changed just in the last year or so, Allen. Like those rookie cards now carry, carry some great weight in the secondary market, especially if they grade out nicely. There's Mahomes. My homies, Patrick Mahomes. And we've got Sam Rogers. Autograph. Again, we'll look all of these up later. See who they belong to. And if they don't have like a current pro team, which I think those guys don't, uh, we'll just send them to what the last pro team they're associated with based on our our research. Nice Patty Mahomes. Not Pat Mahomes. Remember Patrick Mahomes on that one primetime game. I think his mom tweeted out to the announcers, hey, it's Patrick, not Pat. <laughs> Gotta listen to mom. Uh, that goes to Kansas City. Matt Lever with the Chiefs. And there is Ricky Seals Jones, Texas A&M guy. All right, no other Mahomeses or Watsons and whatnot. Onwards. All right, now let's go back into 2020. We're going to bounce around a little bit here. Back to 2020, but still elite. Any other NFL games people are looking forward to? I've got my I've got my NFL trend spreadsheet up. I can tell you what how teams have been trending. Colin Johnson to 399. Josh Allen playmakers. Mark Ingram to 24 die cut. There's my guy Henry Ruggs to 799 for the Las Vegas Raiders. Sean, who are the char Chargers are in 
Denver? They're playing uh, Denver, yes. The Los Angeles Chargers on the road against the spread? 4 0 oh, 1. There you go. But the Denver Broncos versus the Chargers against spread 7 4 and 1 in their last, what, 12 meetings. And versus the Chargers straight up 9 and 3 overall. Hmm. Interesting. So, what, what, what do we pick? This is a personal spreadsheet, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't mess around here, Sean. I don't mess around. You don't you don't win one week of the the football pool just guessing. I only just started doing this a few weeks ago. Like CBS will have like these trend info stuff, and I just type them into a spreadsheet, and then I just keep track of them. Maybe for years. I don't know. I might, might have years of data pretty soon. They're all independent spins. You can't have the data spreadsheet for roulette. Sean, don't. Silly game. rabbit. Every game is an game, Joe. Silly rabbit. Well, especially roulette. That, that, that trend info is just there to screw you up. Minnesota Vikings relic. Yeah, but there's actually reasons for some a lot of these trends. Laquan Treadwell relic, Vikings, Richard Shores. What are the odds, Rex, that LA brings home a third sports title this year? Who would that third team be? Oh, right, Rams charged. I didn't even consider them. I don't know. I wonder if there's someone out there that has like a has like a Dodgers, Lakers, and Chargers or Rams like parlay. I feel like we would have heard something by now if that was the case. All right, so nothing too crazy here in this 2016 optic box. What about playoffs? Yeah, maybe Galaxy or LAFC. I don't know. I, I could see LAFC or the Galaxy winning a MLS title. I don't think the Kings are. The Kings are a little ways away from getting back to Stanley Cup glory. Um, yeah, so that would just leave Chargers and Rams. Rams actually have kind of quietly looked really good. So, but they're in a tough division, though. I mean, they, they, they got to battle Seattle. They got to battle the Niners. They got to battle, like, an upstart Arizona team. But if they got that going on with them, then there's a good chance that, uh, that, that they could find themselves moving somewhat deep into the playoffs. Obviously, matchups and blah, blah, injuries, blah, 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 all, all, all count. But, I don't know, it could be interesting. Got stargazing right here. What year is this again? This is oh, this is 2019. So last year's draft class, Kyler Murray is and among others. That's what we're looking for. Hunter Renfro, Eric Man, Philip Rivers, not Easton Stick, Ben Roethlisberger, stargazing, Tyreek Hill, accolades relic. Uh, going to the Chiefs. That'll be for Matt L. There's Noah Fant, Thunder and Lightning for the Rams. Lightning and the Thunder. 
TB, C Dub. Ooh, Drew Locke. There we go. Forgot about Drew Locke. We'll always have Paris. And Chase Winovich. Wino is his autograph. Wino going to the Pats. That'll be for James M. Nice Drew Lock for Allen and the Broncos, my rivals. Stargate. We got Mitchell Trubisky relic for the Bears. That's going to be for Chris Maxwell. Hopefully, Mitch was renting and not owning in Chicago. Hey, oh. That's real estate humor, folks. To 99. It's always better if you own. St. Sean, he probably does own. But now he's got to sell the house. It's a hassle. <laughs> uh, he probably did make a tidy profit on whatever nice house he has and wherever the nice part of Chicago is. And then he'll, uh, then he'll just move on and get another little deal somewhere and buy another house and keep racking up that real estate. There's Kyler Murray, rookie wave for Eric and the Redbirds. Garop, stargazing. Josh Jacobs, rookie wave. And another autograph, that's Anthony Johnson. One out of 50 for the Chargers. Sean Jasby, tell me about, tell me your favorite Anthony Johnson story. <laughs> uh, Anthony Johnson, you remember, it didn't take long for Johnson to realize the difference between college and the pros. Quote, the first day of training camp, I saw it. Guys switching up on defense and coaches telling us what to look for, he said. And I'm studying a lot more, a lot more than I did in college. From Buffalo, wide receiver, 6'2", 209 out of Buffalo. Old Anthony Johnson. He did not stick around. Well, he was drafted by the Buccaneers, then signed by the Chargers, and then did not stick around. Well, that'll still stick with Corey and the Chargers. This Josh Jacobs rookie wave will go to my Raiders. Uh, and that will be for Steven. And then, oh, I thought this was going to be Kyler. No, it's Hakeem Butler. All right, let's go with this elite back here, this retail. Well, where the, the packaging of this 2016 retail is kind of interesting, folks. Take a look. So, you know, you think, oh, I just opened this here, and then I reach in and how do I grab that? Am I supposed to do this? I don't know. Maybe attack it from the other way? Hmm. Mm -mm. Can't do this. Am I supposed to just tear tear this part out? Am I supposed to open it like this? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that's the packaging. There you go. I feel like the packaging guy, he's not on packaging anymore. The package design guy after this year, he was just like, We're gonna put you on a different project. All right, is that a relic down there? It looks like something like that. All right, we got these guys and these guys. And etched in time, Jim Kelly, Fred Jackson, and. Sammy Watkins, wide receiver, two-color dual relic elite coverage from this retail set. Does not look like it's numbered, but that'll go to Buffalo. Matt Lieber with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Gold. This break brought to you by Buffalo Gold. All right, what should, what should we do? I kind of want to save the mosaics to the end. Maybe some certified? Sure. I'm getting to some of the good stuff now. Why choose a Zipper line over 
Uh, Sean Jaspi going live right after this, folks. All right after this mixer, which will be in a, I think we'll finish this in about another 20 minutes or so. Um, when I started this break, nothing was sold out. So let's sell something out. If you check the break schedule, click the break schedule in the chat, you'll also see our latest break credit giveaway. In fact, Illusions Pack 7 sold out. I just, we're gonna have uh, Pack 8 posted pretty soon. I asked Nick to do it, but if, if, if he hasn't seen my message by the time I finish this mixer, I'll post Pack 8 after this. Gene is asking, what do you guys ship and what do you donate? And do you guys go through the stacks again? Yes. We ship everything except for vet commons, veteran commons, which I'll show you what that is in a second. We only donate veteran commons, which ends up going to, I don't know, when kids come into the shop, we can give it to them, or sometimes we sell like a group of veteran commons and we donate the proceeds to charity. And yes, we go through the stacks again. Our shipping and sorting team have to sort all these out by team. So if, if I miss anything, which is not too common, but sometimes I do, if I miss anything, then they'll be sure to catch it and sleeve it and top load it if it's significant. If it's significant. So these are veteran commons. Cooper Cup is a common. Dak Prescott common. Daryl Williams, David Montgomery. Those these aren't going to ship. These are not going to ship. This will ship because it's the greatest like insert. It's Tom Brady anyway. So Drew Brees will not ship. Philip Rivers won't ship. Nick Chubb won't ship. But Jerry Judy will ship because it's a hit. Two color patch and autograph. Jerry Judy, one eleven out of two twenty five for my rivals, the Broncos, Allen with that one. Nice, there you go. This Clyde Edwards E. Lair insert will definitely ship. Because he's good. I think he's still leading all rookie rushers. I don't know how many other rookie running backs are out there, but he's in the lead. Sammy Watkins. Will ship. That's the two ninety nine. Rex is asking why is there cream of chicken but no cream of cow? Deep thoughts with Shannon Rex. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we just maybe we just call cream of cow like a just a just a stew, maybe some sort of stew. Maybe it, maybe it exists, but we just call it by a different name. Yeah, like a beef stew, says Chris Murphy. Yeah, that's your cream of cow. But I don't think people want to think of cows. 274, yeah, the, the animal from whence it comes. Like, you don't want to you don't want to think about that. Then you think about cute, big, brown-eyed cows and... You think about how cute they are, and then maybe you don't want to eat it anymore. There's a Green Bay Packers, but I love meat, so you just you got to just put that out of your head. Richard Schwartz with the Packers. <laughs> right, yeah, there you go, Brad. That's a good point, too. Duh. There's a Jacoby Myers to one for because chicken meat's called chicken, and cow meat's called beef. Let me think about that. Jacoby Myers... Goes to the Patriots, James. James M. with that one. There you go. Good one, Brad. Shaquille Barrett, 75. And obviously, Gene, these numbered cards will ship. There's no cream of, of, of beef. But yeah, but I think Chris Murphy was saying, I think we, we would just call that a stew. You can you can make a creamy beef stew. Man. On a cold day, a good good beef stew. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with 2019 limited football. That's the next one we're gonna pop over. There ain't nothing wrong with a little limited. There ain't nothing wrong with a little limited football. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> A 
is not a family friendly song. I think I saw something cool in that middle stack right here, so unless my eyes deceive me. I do need to get my eyes checked. 33 out of 99, Keenan Allen. And we've got game day swatches, Ezekiel Elliott, 48 out of 49. A little bit of a ding coming out of that corner there, but that'll go to the Cowboys, James. It's Tyler Lockett and Deshaun Watson, which reveals a Cardinal Caleb Wilson to 49, going to Eric. All right, what was here? I saw a cool patch. I think. Yeah, look at that. Easton Stick. Oh, Easton Stick. Eight out of ten. Three color patch. It's kind of irrelevant right now, but I don't know. You got to hope. Who has the Chargers? Corey, you got to hope that he gets traded somewhere and then finds success elsewhere. So then this card value goes goes up again. All right, uh-oh. Rex was listening to, let's do this Donner's Hanger Box from 2019, to the old Joe Rogan podcast the other night where he signed him saying eating plants is actually harmful. Plants always come up with a defense mechanism to keep them from being eaten. And sometimes those defense mechanisms can cause issues later. I don't think, I think that's like in a million years maybe. I don't think next week my lettuce is going to attack me. You know? I don't think next week someone harvesting cabbage is going to somehow find that the cabbage has evolved into a carnivorous form of plant and eat chops eats off your hand once you reach for the head of cabbage. At least I hope not. It would be terrifying. That would be a hell of a way to close 2020. Cabbage kills would be the headline. There's rookie phenoms, Dwayne. Later to your body. Yeah, I mean, may maybe. Like, it'll make you sick. I've, but I feel like that evolutionary process would... We'd be long dead before that actually presents itself. And at that point, you're dead, so... But I don't know. I mean, does that? What are the odds of that actually happening? Even in the next thousand years? Yeah, there you go, Chris Murphy. Yeah, just stirring the pot. A lot of food references tonight. Yeah, we 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 go. We're all over the place. Let's stay with 2019 Prism this time, Mega Box, and then we'll close with those two uh, 2020 Mosaic boxes, and then we'll give away that money. Last chance for 2019 rookies here. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Rex, you did some extensive polling on vegetarians. Rex is like, vegetarians seem to get sick more often. Well, how about this? All the vegetarians I know seem to be healthier more often. I could do it. I like it. What's wrong with a good balance? I don't mind. A little meat here, a little veggies here. It's moderation, folks. Just keep, keep, keep it balanced. That's all. All right, let's find a Kyler Murray or a Brett Rippon, rookie, silver. He, he got a little love when he made that start, right? That goes to Denver. That'll be for Allen. You don't like that? You got you got to mix in some veggies, Rex. You got to mix in. I'm not saying go crazy and go go. Come on, vegetarian, lame, vegan. It's too much. 
little moderation. You can even go, you can even go just fish if you want to. Some people just go that pescatarian. Marquise Blair goes to Seattle. Matt Lieber. It doesn't have to be too crazy. Yeah, moderation. Yeah, I mean, at the at the end of the day, everything any everything's gonna kill you in the end. <laughs> so, too much coffee, too little coffee. Who knows? How much red wine? I don't know. You know, what kind of meat? Red meat? This meat? Fish? No, don't eat fish because there's plastics in the ocean. I have no idea. Water? Too much water? Too little water? Not enough water? Sugar? Salt? Sodium? This? That? You know, how many cigarettes are healthy? Two? Five a day? A pack a day? Maybe one cigarette a day is healthy. I don't know. It's moderation, folks. Just take it easy. That's Stefan Diggs. Green Pulsar goes to Minnesota. Richard. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, just sleep, sleep for about seven hours, eat as clean as you can, work in a little workout here and there. You know, stay at a decent weight, be active, and that's it. It's cam acres. Still could get hit by a truck tomorrow. You know what I mean? Do all that. I don't know. Just, just moderation. I think is nice. Mosaics are really nice too. NFL debut, Justin Herbert. Yeah, it happens sometimes, Gene, when group breaks. They're not always going to be winners. But you still have a shot at the uh, break credit at the end. I mean, don't spend too much on breaks. Don't spend too little on breaks. Moderation. That's what we're all about. Here at Jaspies, we, we, we keep it cool, like a cucumber. Sometimes a pickle. All right, last box, the uh, blaster version of Mosaic right here, and then we'll give away a little bit of money to the gang. And if you bought at least two teams, you'll have a shot at the break credit. Let's see who followed the instructions. If you get hit by a truck tomorrow, you're going to be upset. Oh, yeah, I mean, all that healthy eating you were doing, Rex. I'm going to be... I have no power over that, Rex. Believe it or not. I could say it all I want to, but I, unfortunately, I have no power over that. Unfortunately? Fortunately, I have no power over that. I, have, I do not have the power to conjure a truck and uh, lead it to strike you. An inopportune moment. Well, if you, Gene, did you buy at least two teams? Then yes. If you follow the directions in the description, then yeah, you'll have a shot at break credit. Giving away up to $250 of break credit. All right, so nothing too exciting there, but we got some money to give away. And then we'll do a quick little uh, recap there too. All right, so let's flip over to this screen right here. So if you bought at least two teams, you'll get an entry. Four teams get you two entries. Six teams get you three entries, so on and so forth. And the top five will win 50 bucks of break credit each. If you have multiple entries, yes, you can win multiple times. So let's alphabetize by your first names right here. All right, so thanks, Adam. He bought at least two. That's an entry. Alan bought three, but the two count for these purposes. He gets an entry. Chris Maxwell bought, how many is that? Four, that's two entries. James bought two, that's an entry. Matt bought four, that's two entries. Richard Shores bought four, that's two entries. Stephen bought two, that's an entry. Thomas S. bought two, that's an entry. And TJ bought two. That's an entry right there. So TJ, Thomas, Stephen, Richard, Matt L, James, Chris, Alan, and Adam. Okay. So that's only 12 names on there. It's going to be the top five 
after, of these 12, top five after eight. Four and a four, hard eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, there you go. There's the top five. Alan, Richard, Chris, Stephen, and Chris. $50 of break credit each going your way. Thanks for joining the, uh, what was this? This was a 13 box Hail Mary football mixer. All right, we were chasing some big rookies here. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Always check out the website for, for mixers, for group breaks, different promos we have every night, and all sorts of other fun stuff. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. We love chatting football, fantasy football, maybe investing in some football. We like that kind of talk too. There's that Patrick Mahomes, which is pretty nice. We enjoy all that. So stick with us all season long. Break with us all season long. Talk football with us all season long. We'll look up all these college cards and have some fun with us, folks, in moderation. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.